for somebody who's struggling with laziness and motivation, what is it that they're missing out when it comes to how fear fits into those two as drivers for good or for, for worse? Yeah, it's an interesting question. You know, we don't often think about motivation and fear as in the same breath or the same sentence. Um, we are accustomed to thinking about the fact that when we're afraid of something, you know, we can freeze up. Uh, but really motivation and fear are in the same pathway and believe it or not, they're in the same chemical pathway. So the only way to talk about motivation is to talk about the molecule dopamine. Dopamine is known for its feel good properties. We think, oh, you know, a dopamine hit or, you know, it feels so good, a rush of dopamine, but dopamine's main role in the brain and body is craving motivation and pursuit. Okay. And in the absence of dopamine, we don't feel motivated. I'll describe in a moment a classic experiment that illustrates this beautifully. But dopamine's main role is to make us feel motivated and to crave things. Okay. And the interesting thing is that dopamine is the chemical. It's the molecule from which another molecule is made called epinephrine. And epinephrine has another name, which is adrenaline. So to untangle all that, basically craving and desire is the foundation of stress and fear. And people think, well, that, how could that possibly be? Well, stress and fear comes from adrenaline. So the way to, to think about this in a, in a kind of real world context is that when we are afraid of something, we have one of three responses. We can either remain still, we can retreat, or we can move forward. All three of those require some increase in our level of activation and the molecule adrenaline, also called epinephrine, I probably will use those interchangeably, so it really doesn't matter, adrenaline, epinephrine. That is what, what's responsible for getting us moving. It's also responsible for our sense of fear and paralysis in fear. So if people are feeling that they're not motivated or as motivated as they would like to be, there's a key step that people need to take, which is to start focusing on the craving aspect and dopamine. Because if you can make enough dopamine, you can motivate, you can actually crave moving through challenge. 